everybody, welcome to the test day. It was supposed to be on day 9, and then we found out Chromebooks were going to be collected on the 1st and 2nd, so I wanted to make sure you had enough time if you need to do uh, an additional attempt. So your test is 39 points, your give me point is this one you're watching right now, the intro video. Um, and I apologize for those of you who watched day 9 intro because I've erased it, because, well, now it's day 7 and it's different. Uh, a couple things. One, you have your energy quiz, and this is very different than anything you have ever seen um, because I have one question from every test bank. So one on coal, one on natural gas, one on geothermal, one on nuclear, one from general alternative energies, one from general fossil fuels, one on um, electric cars. And this is where I hope you made sure you went and watched all those um, energy videos in the notes where all the questions were under it, because that's where I took a lot of the questions from. Um, so this is different. You're going to have multiple attempts at this test. You don't even have to ask me for additional ones. In fact, you'll have probably something on the order of 10 or 12. It just depends on how generous I'm feeling when I go to make that set change. Um, but here's the deal. You're going to notice that this says random set of questions. There's one of seven for number one you could get. The second question, there's nine possibilities, a nine and 13 and 20 for number five and 14. So every time you um, finish this test and you take a second attempt, you have the ability to get full credit. There's no test corrections on this because you can't get the same test twice. Um, you could get the same question theoretically more than once, but the chances of that are random. Um, and the biggest chance you'd have is the last number 15 because there's only two questions so if you do it more than once your chances are pretty good you're going to get that one of those two questions again but the rest and number nine only has three but the rest have enough questions that you probably will have a very different test every time you do this so if I go into preview mode um, and start this attempt you will see it looks like a normal test but this set of questions may not be exactly what you see um, when you take it so just be aware of that uh, be aware that the test will regenerate differently every time you do it. This is the first part of your test. There's a total of 15 questions. Um, not too bad. But this is the easy part. This is the part you can do as many times up to, like I said, 10, 12 attempts. Um, when you go down here, and by the way, I'm on day 7, obviously, there is a second part of this test, which is a video on Denmark and how they use wind turbine and their canals and how they drain water and all that stuff. It's not just that. But it's really talking about how in the 70s when the oil crisis happened, they were 99% reliant on crude oil for their energy sources and they are no longer that. It's going to talk about how they've changed. And these are all essay questions. Essay questions I will be reading and I'm going to be picky. So answer them completely. Please don't give me whole pages, but I expect on some of the questions you're going to need to give me a couple sentences to make yourself clear and think through your responses so if you want to before you get to those questions you may want to go back and rewatch the video one more time if you need um, so because this is 40 points between the intro and here 1.39 points this is the other 30 points for the test for this unit this is the big culmination this is really kind of where you're you're telling me some of these things not just from the video but using everything we've done up to this point and using all that background information to explain those essay questions to me. Also, if you are choosing to do the alternative energy project, um, remember because we had to make that extra credit due to uh, people telling me apparently I'm doing too much, um, we'll get to that later. Uh, this is the day you absolutely have to submit it. If you do not submit this by basically midnight tonight, I will not accept any submissions after that because this is your deadline, hard and fast. You chose to do it, it's extra credit, it's a hard and fast deadline. Because the last part of this to finish up your points is you are going to need to be able to go watch um, hopefully four other people's videos and you're going to do your critique of that, which is positive, you know, you know, what did you do well, you don't have to be mean about it. Um, but you do need to have time to get that done. So they, all of them for consideration have to be in for your extra credit. And as this is a massive amount of extra credit that will help with anything you've lost points on between now and the other time, it's kind of a big deal to make sure you've got that done. Uh, as this is a test day, please jump on Zoom. It times out on me after 40 minutes. If for some reason I've been on with someone, 
and then it goes away. If no one's jumped on Zoom, it stays on all day. If I don't have it up and running, it's either because it's timed out after 40 minutes or I'm at lunch. In that case, get on email and um, make sure you know that you let me know I need to talk to you and I will send you an invite as soon as I have it back up and running if it happens to be off or email. But this is the day to ask questions. If you're not sure, don't hit submit until you talk to me. Um, so Zoom, email, anything you need to do, intro, what you're doing right now, energy test, remember it's different, different set of questions every time you do it, um, but again, up to full credit, and then your essay, and submit your extra credit if you're choosing to do that. Good luck with your test, watch the video, answer thoroughly, and again, ask questions as needed. Have a good day.